pop down, pop down, pop down, pop down. Yeah, I know I look pretty pop down. For non Bajans, that is when you look really bad. Yeah, but anyway. Um, so I was wondering if the bird's nest atop top my head was gonna be distracting. And I am in a very comfortable nightshirt, I'll have you people know. But um, yeah, I'm tired and this is what it is right now. All right, okay. Um, today was pretty meh. Um, hair beginneth roses season. I call my period roses, I just think it's prettier. Um, and you know, roses have thorns, which makes sense. So it begins the season of the PMS, which comes with, sometimes it's mild, other times it's really rough um, as my hormones try to make life hell. But um, I usually, you know, try to uh, look past them and be bigger than them and be in charge of my body and my feelings and my emotions and everything But honestly today I felt so depressed so depressed so depressed um, And the thing is I don't have a, an actual reason Really well, I mean I guess if you look hard you can find reasons to be sad It's the same way you can find reasons to be happy or mad or whatever but for me in this situation, I know it's hormonally based. And because of that, I like to make an extra effort not to take my shit out on other people. So yeah, there's that. Uh, what did I just say? Well, I was, like I said, in a bit of a funk. I try to... Um, do as much work as I could. Yes, I work on Saturdays sometimes, lots of the time, honestly. Um, try to do as much work as I could. And from there, um, I finished watching Startup. Oh my God, Startup is my new favorite last few months show. I can't say September show or year show. So I would have to say for the last few months. I know there are people that are saying like, uh, my friend Joseph was saying that people are calling it derivative and they're like, oh, blah, 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 and this and that. I like it because I feel that pain to some extent. The pain of going in front of investors and pouring your heart out about your company and the men looking at you like, this is a great idea, but, you know, um, and it was interesting. I liked seeing... I don't know if I've never been to Miami, but from hearing some of the stories and stuff, I, I don't know how close to how it is actually the show is trying to keep it. But I kind of like the idea of there are these three people, three different places, you know, coming from three different places, three different backgrounds, and somehow they come together because of these really interesting circumstances. Um, that's it. That's one of the things. Like, that's one of the things I don't get. I know when it's on television. Okay, I'm, I'm about to go kind of off topic. I know when it's on television, it, I guess it, it see, it's easier to follow like multiple characters or whatever. But I don't get why people make it such a big deal in books. I love Multipob. I think when it's done well, it's so much fun. You get to like see what everybody else is doing, especially like when people do it like maybe only like um, a character per a chapter or two characters in a chapter or something like that. I think it's so cool. I've always enjoyed Multipob. I've enjoyed writing it. I, I, I don't get why it's always like this big thing about doing Multipob. I also feel like a lot of things to do with writing especially. Uh, as I said, this is a total um, side note and this is stuff that I'll talk about more in, you know, more writing related vlogs. But honestly, like, I kind of feel like we're so set in our ways all the time that we feel it has to be one way. And this, this goes beyond writing. This is for everything. We're so set in our ways. It must be this way. And if it's not this way, that's a total problem. And then we don't want to change. But then if somebody else has the guts or the enough backing or enough money or whatever to do it, 
then it's like, oh, I guess this is okay. I don't, why are we like that? I mean, gosh, why are we like that? Like, when I look back on my life, I'm not regretful. I just see places where if I had done certain things differently, if I had listened to myself instead of listening to what other people thought or whatever, like how much further you could have been, how much more things you would have done and experienced. Uh, anyway, yeah, arm change. Ugh, my arm hurts. Yes, I am apparently sweating again. Yeah. What is that? Is that like a breakout? About, like, uh, anyway. Um, but yeah, I am not completely sure if I am going to leave the house tonight. It's still early. And yes, I am in a night shirt because it's early and I honestly just feel like crawling into my bed and throwing covers over my head and being like, goodbye world till tomorrow. But right this instant, yeah, I am like sweating. Anyway, right this instant, I am not totally sure if that mood is gonna change. I don't know if I'll feel differently later because it is so early. Um, it's been raining most of the day. It's been really, uh, it's been really cloudy and things like that. Um, but it's been a pretty day. I actually like this kind of weather. I feel like it. Um, what's the word? My hair is a freaking bird's nest. Anyway, um, I feel like this kind of weather is, is it's good for for me creatively wise. It's really it works for me. I'm able to to get out a lot when this is this weather is, is you know I don't know it's cooler. I don't know maybe I'm less miserable because it's cooler. I don't know. Um, but yeah, but today today has been mainly honestly mainly work. Um, Eight, yeah, in between. Reminding myself to eat, I should say. Guys, always remember to eat. I forget to eat constantly. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do a workout earlier, but like yesterday, I, cause I've been trying to work out like four, four times a week at least, at least. Um, but like, I don't know, I, I just. I couldn't get to bed and and then I went into my bed at like nine something this morning well when you're watching this yesterday morning um, and it's just been it's just been a weird day you know really weird emotions you know oh sweat gathering at my temples um, so yeah I don't think I'm gonna prolong this anymore I'm gonna let you guys go and enjoy your sundays uh, i don't know when this is gonna go up but it will be sunday unless the connection is complete shit because the connection was kind of shit today um yeah we still haven't gotten gotten our actual internet in yet you know how that is anyway so i am super thankful that we can actually siphon some because if we couldn't oh my gosh i would be i would be like desperately trying to find places where i can <laughs> i can use the internet because i don't know like there's so much client work to do and so much things to do and um, many of which I'm super excited about sharing with you. Um, yeah, I'm super excited about sharing them with you, super excited. And I'm gonna talk some more about the people who actually help make these things happen and you know, and it, the thing is like I, I will admit, as as an entrepreneur trying to come up, there is a lot of things you do on your own, but there's some things that you know, every now and again you can say, hey, you know, it's good to have people who you can sometimes call on to to either like kind of just give advice or, um, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think this looks like? Or just people who are just there to encourage, you know, if it doesn't edify, encourage or inspire, get rid of it, like legit, get rid of of it yeah I'll talk about that in other vlogs I realize I've only been uploading the um, the nightly nightly vlogs but I guess that's because they're nightly but I next week I will upload some old footage and things like that so you guys can see like the crap that I shouldn't call it crap should I the stuff <laughs> the many things that I've filmed in the last months and um, and you know like some new stuff and you know 